Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which helps us in checking whether two trees are identical or not. First, let us understand the term identical trees. Two trees are identical when they have same data and arrangement of data is also same. To identify if two trees are identical, we need to traverse both trees simultaneously and while traversing, we need to compare data and children of the trees. Let us take some examples. As you can see, the output is false as the two trees are not identical because node 6 which is the right child of node 10 is missing in the second tree. In this case, the output is true as both the trees are completely identical. Now let's see the algorithm which will assist us in checking if two trees are identical or not. The idea is to use level order traversal. We will require two queues. We traverse both trees simultaneously and compare the data whenever we dequeue an item from the queue. Let us also have sample trees to test our algorithm. First, we enqueue the root nodes of tree 1 and tree 2 into Q1 and Q2 respectively. Since both the queues are not empty, we enter the while loop. As we enter the while loop, we get the front nodes from Q1 and Q2 and assign it to N1 and N2. Next, we compare the data of N1 and N2. Since it is equal, we continue. Else, we would have returned false. Now we dequeue the nodes from Q1 and Q2. So, 10 will be dequeued. Now, we will check for the left child of N1 and N2 and push them into their respective queues if they exist. Since 10 has a left child which is 5 in both the trees, we push 5 into the queues. In case the left child of n1 exists and it doesn't exist for n2, we would return false. Also, if left child of n2 exists and it doesn't exist for n1, we would return false. Next, we push the right child of n1 and n2 into their respective queues. So, 6 will be enqueued. In case the right child of n1 exists and it doesn't exist for n2, we would return false. Similarly, if right child of n2 exists and it doesn't exist for n1, we would return false. Since Q1 and Q2 are not null, we get front nodes from Q1 and Q2 and assign to N1 and N2. So, N1 and N2 will point to 5. Again, we compare the data of N1 and N2. Since it is equal, we pop the front nodes from the queue. Since node 5 doesn't have any child, nothing will be enqueued. And since both left and right child is empty for tree 1 and tree 2 as well, the else if condition is also not satisfied. Since Q1 and Q2 are not null, we loop. Again, we get the front nodes and assign to N1 and N2. So, N1 and N2 will point to 6. Now, the data of N1 and N2 will be checked. 
if it is equal we will continue since the data is equal we continue next we pop the nodes from the queues so 6 will be popped since the left child and right child of 6 in both the trees do not exist nothing will be enqueued now the queue becomes empty so control will come out of the while loop and true will be returned as the two trees are identical now let us have a look at the time complexity of the program this code will run in big o of m plus n complexity here m and n are the number of nodes in tree 1 and tree 2 with this we come to an end of this tutorial for any doubts or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching